The Spindle Drilling Guide. Easy, effective, and above all, accurate. Hi, Kyle Barton of K Barton Tools here, and I want to introduce you to the Spindle Drilling Guide. As you know, the common techniques for drilling spindle mortises and arms and bows requires a steady hand and good hand-eye coordination. Now, this new drilling guide will make boring those mortises far simpler, faster, and most importantly, accurate. I've received a lot of questions about the drilling guide, so I wanted to give you this brief overview. First off, let's talk about the design. The design of this drilling guide came about with my collaboration with Peter Galbert on his bow drilling jig. Now, while the bow drilling jig works very well, this particular drilling guide has some features you might find useful. With that said, let's get into the details. Okay, first let's go over the bones of this drilling guide, which is this aluminum extrusion and these two carriages, this one fixed, this one movable. This fixed carriage holds this 12 millimeter acrylic rod. This rod will easily fit into common half-inch spindle mortises and chair seats. The movable carriage here holds this drill bushing and it can slide up and down the length of the aluminum extrusion. It also includes a brake that will fix the carriage anywhere along its length. The drill bushing is aligned with the 12 millimeter rod which results in dead accurate spindle mortises. This offset design allows you to drill spindle mortises up to 6 inches wide and from 5 inches to 30 inches above the seat. Most importantly, this design allows you to drill spindle mortises from underneath that you would do for crest rails or other non-chair making operations such as casework, stairs, etc. I have a, I'll have a separate video for those non-chair making operations. One of the great features about this jig is that you can reverse this moving carriage. So for instance, if you like the brake on this side instead of the upper side, it's easy to do. You just simply unscrew this back plate here and flip it around. And there you go, it's that easy. And then you can also uh, position where this drill bushing is just by loosening up this hex nut. You can leave it as is, or you can move it down this way. I will also have this 12 millimeter rod with this pointer. This will allow you to use a drilling guide to drill spindle mortises in arms and bows where the mortises and the seats are just marked and will not be bored until after the arm and bow spindle mortises are done. Okay, you simply remove this 12 millimeter rod in the fixed carriage, just like this, and replace it with the one with the pointer. It's just that simple. So you get all this functionality in a package that only weighs two pounds and three ounces. Now let's see the drilling guide in operation. Okay, we're putting the uh, spindle drilling guide into the mortise in the seat. And now I like to lower the movable carriage till the drill bushing is just about a finger width above the bow. And let's grab the drill here and we'll just put the drill bit into the bushing. This is actually the hardest part of using this jig. And uh, then we line it up and uh, then just simply drill away. This is just how simple it is to uh, put those spindle mortises in the bow. Everything's nice, easy, and like I've said, above all, accurate. So now we're moving on to the uh, next hole here. And uh, we're sitting there again, lowering that movable carriage down to about a finger width above the bow. Insert the drill bit into the uh, drill bushing. Sorry about my stupid head here. And uh, there we are, we got that marked. And again, just drill away. And that is just how simple it is to use. Now in this sequence here, I've sped it up and we're drilling the uh, three holes on the other side of the bow. And uh, this way, hopefully, I don't have my head in the way half the time. And it's basically the same uh, technique of uh, just making sure the carriage is uh, in the proper position, like I said, about a finger width above the bow 
and uh, we just move from hole to hole. Now one thing, um, I'm drilling 11 32nd spindle mortises here, but these drill bushings are available in sizes from 5 uh, 16ths all the way up to 3 8 11 32nd, and in this case um, 7 16 and half inch. And there are those options when you uh, do buy the jig to uh, pick whatever drill bushing you want. You can also buy other ones here. Now here I'm using a technique to create a little pocket for the mortise here in the uh, steepest portion of the bow. And then I simply uh, put the jig here and uh, get it into position. Now I realize here, hey, it might be better for the camera so y'all can see it if I move the jig to the other side. And like I said, the jig is basically ambidextrous. You can use it on the back side of the bow or the front side of the bow, whatever is more comfortable for whatever particular mortise you're drilling or whether you're right-handed or left-handed. And there you go. Here you can see how accurate uh, it is. I'm going through all three uh, mortises I drilled here. And here are some dummy spindles in the bow so you can see just how accurate and how straight those are. All right, here I am demonstrating how to drill a blind mortise using the drilling guide. This is one of the great features of this offset design is that it allows you enough room to drill from underneath the movable carriage. I have a little piece of tape on the drill bit to let me know when I've gone far enough, one inch in this case. This is a very easy process to do and once again, very accurate. Thanks for watching. You can purchase the drilling guide at kbartontools.com. If you have any questions, leave a comment or hit me up on Instagram at barton.kyle. Thanks again for watching.